project's California High Speed Rail, the main goal is to connect the San Francisco Bay Area and Los Angeles Basin, two huge population centers served by hundreds of daily flights. High Speed Rail has a sweet spot, and the sweet spot really is between 200 and 600 miles of travel. Beyond 600 miles, air becomes a lot more practical. It's the travel times. Under 200 miles, people are still likely to choose to drive or other modes because just the time of getting to the station and the logistics of getting on a train. San Francisco to LA is 420 miles. It's right in that sweet spot. And High Speed Rail will connect 420 miles of rapid 220 mile an hour service, um, joining these population centers and also allowing growth in California and Southern California in a sustainable way. I'm the section manager for the Fresno to Bakersfield segment. Um, Fresno and Bakersfield are two Central Valley cities uh, connected. They're about 110 miles apart, but most significantly, they're going to be the first initial construction segment. The other key for this segment is that it's going to be the uh, test segment for the system. So once they get the systems operator on board, the train set selected, they'll test the trains in the Central Valley of California before they extend the system to both to LA and San Francisco. Huge infrastructure project. It's going to take 15 years to build. It takes an incredible amount of faith and commitment to the future to work on a project like this because you have to understand it's a step-by-step -step process. The politics are incredibly complex. The environmental processes in California and the United States haven't adapted to high-speed rail corridors yet. There's, we're opening up a whole bunch of new questions, solving a bunch of new problems, and really uh, breaking ground for um, transportation in the United States.